what did you make of the whole GameStop Robin Hood situation? Because you're pretty vocal about that. As I, I am. I was stunned by it. I lost 700000 on GameStop, or not GameStop, on AMC, but it was the same. Like, same they stick, stopped yeah. the trading. I, I didn't even know you could do that. I, I literally didn't know you could just say, hey, you can sell the stock, but you can't buy it. They essentially, essentially tanked the stock price. And nobody will ever convince me if the shoe was on the other foot and you know the hedge funds and the billionaires were making a ton of money in a volatile nature, that it would be stopped to be like, oh, you guys are making too much. The little guy's getting killed. But that's what happened here. And do I think there are phone calls made and things behind closed doors? And if you've seen the show Billion, Steve Cohen even is tied into these companies. I think there was shady stuff that went on. And I think the little guy got screwed for the most part to save billionaires. I mean, short squeeze has been going on for a very, very long time. This is essentially just a publicly created short squeeze against uh, people who they thought were over leveraged in the market. Correct. So yes. it's, it, it is pretty amazing that they, that they shut it down. I interviewed Vlad. He came on. I think he sees, and that's the CEO of Robinhood. I think he sees me as a conduit to their retail traders and they're trying to go public and all this. So as a way to build trust back up, is like, let me talk to Dave. And I'm no expert on a lot of the things he was talking about. I at first thought he was a criminal. I've changed to be, he was inadequately prepared and borderline incompetent because the, 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 it was bubbling. Like what was going on with GameStop and AMC? It wasn't something that just you snapped and it happened. It was over the course of a couple of days. So to not be ready for it, that that to me is incompetence. But he brought up a fair point. He's like, we if we folded, it would have been worse for our clients. Right. There, there came a point where they were losing money on every single trade because they'd, they'd actually over leverage themselves in order to Correct. fulfill the contract. Correct. Yeah. But I still, no one will ever convince me if the rich guys are benefiting, th nobody calls a timeout and says, hold on, we gotta make sure, that that I don't believe. So along the same lines, you a Bitcoin guy, not a Bitcoin guy? I'm, I don't own any. So I bought it at 11,000 and this, and then I sold it quickly at 11,000 because I just couldn't wrap my brain around it. I had the Winklevoss twins explaining to me what it was. They told me a story that sounded cockamamie to me. It's like Elon Musk is mining gold from outer space. It's gonna rain down. I'm like, I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to stick with things I know. The timing of me doing that, it, it went bananas. I mean, the, within a month of me selling it is when this rocket ship happened. It's interesting to me. The Bitcoin, the crypto people will taunt me every single day about not being in it. I love the way they handle social media. I think it's hilarious. It's kind of in my vein, making the memes and all this stuff. But currently, I'm not involved. 